Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to use Java JDBC to perform batch update operation with MySQL database. So in previous video tutorial, I have I have shown you how to use Java JDBC to perform batch insert operation with MySQL database. All right. So we can use either you know paper statement or statement interface to perform uh, batch update operation. All right. So so make sure that you have installed MySQL database and uh, you need to also download mysql jdbc driver and you need to add a class path and also you make sure that you create a database before using before writing a java program all right so this is the table we are going to create and uh, so we use a statement interface first to perform jdbc batch update operation so here are the steps so first we establish a connection with mysql database and we create a statement object using connection object we add sql commands using add batch method and we execute batch statement using execute batch method and use, we use try with resource statement to automatically close the jdbc resources so these are the few steps we need to you know implement all right let's have a database setup here so i have already created a jdbc underscore demo database and we have a user table with some records in place all right, and we are record we are updating few of the records uh, you know by using uh, batch update operation all right so let's have a look into the example here now so this is a class and it's a main method and this is the entry point of our program and here is a batch method and we need to we need to first establish uh, you know connection with the mysql database so this is the first step you need to do and basically we use get connection method and we pass jdbc url and username and password in order to establish a connection with mysql database all right and the second step once we get a connection object then we can create a statement using connection object all right and here notice here we are disabling the auto commit mode all right so because uh, we are performing a batch update operation here we are basically grouping multiple statements as a transaction so that's why we need to disable auto commit and if you enable auto commit then by default uh, jdbc uh, will you know uh, execute each statement as a transaction uh, each individual statement as a transaction so but in our case we want to execute all the statements in a single transaction right so that's why we, we need to auto or disable the auto commit and here we have executed uh, you know the statement and here we need to commit the transaction after you know performing the database operation and notice here uh, these are the standard steps uh, we basically follow uh, in, in in order to create a jdbc examples all right so look at here in a try in a try block if there are any exception then it will be caught in a catch block and the exception details will be you know uh, printed on the console so as usual uh, these are the standard ways we need to you know maintain in order to display exception details to the console so here i have just run this program and here we got a success output and basically uh, you notice here we are updating four records and uh, with some id let's have a look into the result here yeah here we go we successfully updated name column all right so this is how we update a batch a batch update operation now let's look at you know same example by using prepare statement interface so similar steps we need to follow like oh, first we need to establish a connection with the mysql database then we need to create a prepare statement object using connection object and then we need to add a sql commands or statements using add batch method and we execute the batch method and we use basically try with resource statement to auto automatically close the jdbc resources all right let me open the example using prepare, prepare statement interface over here uh, don't worry uh, you can get a source code from my write-up tutorial i will be provide a link so this is how we basically perform a batch update math operation using paper statement so look at here we have maintained a single update sql statement and we are dynamically uh, adding uh, adding uh, records by using paper statement methods and we are we are adding we are calling add batch method after each row all right 
it's a pretty uh, easy uh, you, you can either use a statement interface or prepare statement interface in order to perform batch operations so we can now we can execute the batch and uh, we can print a you know output to the console it's pretty simple all right so similar steps we have done here so we are we are using try with resource statement in order to close connection object prepare statement object and notice here we are we are updating of four records and also we are we are you know using the transaction over here and these are the uh, exception details that we are printing to the console pretty simple program all right let's go ahead and let's run this program and let's see the output now so notice here we are updating four records and basically we, uh, let me change the name uh, id here so id is uh, the the id in a table starts with the uh, uh, two right so that's why i have changed the id here let me run this program now uh, yeah here we go we got a success output all right this is let me let me check in a table yeah here we go the column name is get updated right so this is how typically we perform uh, you know batch update operation using prepare statement interface so basically these interfaces provides a add batch and execute batch methods with the help of these methods we can perform uh, you know batch operations all right so i have created a blog article on these topics so you can get a source code from these write-up tutorials all right let me quickly uh, show you the write-up tutorial so that you can quickly go and you can get a source code from there so notice here my website is javavage.net and and here you can get a source code so i'll provide a link of these two write-up tutorials in the video description so you can quickly go go over there and you can clone the code and uh, you can also read the explanation i have given an explanation for each uh, operation over there and this is the write-up jdbc tutorial uh, anyways i am going to create a video tutorial on these write-up tutorials so you can uh, you can watch my video tutorials on jdbc all right so this is how typically we perform a batch update operation watch my previous videos where i have you know explained a lot about jdbc thanks for watching i will see you in the next video